Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a kind of a dupe video on the Shade and Light um, Contour Palette by Kat Von D compared to the Pro Fusion Pro Contour Palette. So these are totally similar but very different in price. This one is like $30 and this one is 5 bucks. So as you can see in the back, this is how the Kat Von D one looks like. It has the names of each of the powders. And this is the Profusion one. So this is how the palettes look like. Um, they're very different in size. The Profusion one is way bigger. The name's obviously Shade and Light and it says Pro Contour. But they have a very similar um, product placement. Which me meaning that the way it looks, the way that it looks inside is very, very similar. So as you can see already, this one is smaller compared to this one. But, as you can see, they are very similar in shade. So all the contour shades are very similar as well as the highlighting shades. So again, this one retails for like $30 and this one retails for 5 bucks at your local TG Maxx or Pro um, Profusion.com or whatever you can get Profusion. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch the Profusion. One. Ah! I, feel like it's a, uh, I feel like it's a curse with a YouTube video. Something always has to fall. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch the Profusion one first. So I'm going to start from the highlighting shades. This one is the white shade, this one is the yellow shade, and this one is the peachy shade. So this is how the contour, the highlight shades look like. They're very, very silky soft. And I really, really like how they wear on the skin. So this is how the Profusion one looks like. And then this is the contour shade. This one is the... Um, the contour, this one is the bronzing one, and this one is the deeper one. So that is how they look like. I didn't get to swatch that one. And then I'll swatch it for you guys. That one, that one, and that one. Well, they're ugly swatches, I'm so sorry. <laughs> But these are very, very soft in formula. So I'm going to show you guys how this looks on the side of my face once I'm done swatching it. Oh, and also it has a mirror. It has a really big mirror in here, which is awesome. Because I love when products like this have mirrors. Because I'm always traveling and I always want to look at myself in the mirror and see how I look like. So yeah, it has a mirror inside this one. And this one is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This one also has a mirror as well, but it's more like... It's more, it has the design on the mirror, so it's more presentable. But anyway, this is how the shade and light looks like. You guys have probably seen this a million times. So this is how the highlight shades look like. So that is the highlight shades right there. Sorry for this, I was doing another video. And then I'm gonna show you guys how the contour shades look like. Dark one. So that is how those look. I'm going to do the swatch for the contour ones because I feel like I didn't give you guys a good swatch of those. So we are swatching those and then I'll just put it here. So that is the Pro Fusion Contour Kit. So from swatches, um, the Kat Von D one is a bit more pigmented. Obviously, it's a bit, it's pricier, so they probably use better formulations compared to this one. But to be honest, they are very similar when you apply it onto your cheeks. So right now, I have my foundation, concealer, everything already done. I just need to contour, blush, and highlight, but I'm just going to do that towards the end. So I'm going to show you guys the Pro Fusion one first. So I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye. I'm going to use the white shade mixed with the banana shade. And as you can see, it a lot of powder picks up so that's probably a bad thing I'm gonna do it on my right side as you can see already it's like super pigmented super pigmented do you see that like whoa as you can see already this eye looks way more lifted than this one so crazy how makeup does that and next I'm gonna go ahead and use my Hoola um, I'm going to use my Benefit brush and take these two shades right here and just bronze up and contour my face. So, just bronzing it up. I'm using both of them. I 
go ahead and just contour a little bit using my Eda brush and using that um, cool tone. And just contour in the side of my nose as well. And bottom lip. Okay, so this is the difference between this side and this side. Next, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette using that same brush. Again, using those two light shades. This one doesn't pick up doesn't kick up that much product as the other one but again both just perform the same way I feel so again using those two I'm gonna go ahead and use these two shades to contour my face and bronze it up using that same hula brush as you can see it's a bit more pigmented and then I'm gonna use my a brush and contour okay so what do you guys think this is the um Kat Von D side and this is the Pro Fusion side I feel like the Kat Von D one obviously is way more pigmented and it performs really nicely but at the same time the Pro Fusion one is way less expensive and it kind of does the same thing. I feel like the powders for the underneath the eye, the highlighting powders, is better than the contour powders. But I could I could be wrong just because I forgot to set my face. <laughs> Ooh. I forgot to set my face with powder and that's why it was kind of hard for me to blend it out. But I feel like both sides look nice, but this one, the Kevin D one, is a little bit nicer and more like defined than the profusion one but overall i feel like this is a dupe for the Kat Von d one um again you can find it at tg max marshalls profusion.com possibly and Kat Von d you can find us at um Von d.com as well as sephora so what do you guys think have you guys tried the profusion one have you tried the Kat Von d one what do you guys think how do you guys like this on my face i really like the profusion one as well as the Kat Von d one but I do use this one more often because this is pretty new to me. So I'm probably going to be messing with this more and telling you guys how I feel about it on my next favorites video. So yeah, comment down below if you guys have any questions or any comments about this application. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.